you need to really capture is this little area. Okay. All right, I'm on. All right, you're here, right? Okay, so step mm -hmm. one, I use a, what's called a Swedish press or a percolator. What you do is you fill the bottom part with water, cold water. It's got a little screw valve here. So you wanna fill it right to the valve. Then I grab my coffee. I use this coffee, but I keep it here so that it's airtight. You shouldn't freeze it because the oils in the coffee shouldn't be frozen. And you just fill it up all the way. You don't have to uh, press it like they do with the espresso machine or anything like that. Just as long as it's flush, you know, like that. You put it in, you screw the top part, right? Should look like this, should look like this. You put it on your stove, you crank it. I don't put it all the way to high. I put it five or six. And I also make sure that the handle is not above the stove so it doesn't get hot. We just wait for it to start percolating. Hold on for part two. Okay. All right, so the important thing is to catch the first drop that comes out from the top. Um, the stove is heating the bottom, which is, has the water, making it boil. When it boils, it goes through the little filter that had the coffee, and then it's gonna come out through here, right? So when we get that first drop, we're gonna have some sugar. I use brown sugar, but you can use any kind of sugar. So you take a couple spoonfuls of sugar, right? Mm-hmm. Since there's two of you. Okay. You take some sugar, you put it in a little, you know, thing like this. And then what we wanna do is grab the first drop that comes out of here, pour it in here. For some reason, that first drop, I guess because it's very concentrated, when you mix it with the sugar, it makes the sugar foam. So you mix it up and you get the most delicious, smelling, little foam cream, and that's what you're gonna put in your coffee. Yeah. Another thing we can do is get our milk ready. If, you, if you're having like a latte or cappuccino, you take a little milk, pour it in your cup, about, that might be a lot for some of you. But you get it ready so that when you get that first drop and you mix it with the sugar and you start making your foam, you can heat up your milk. I do it in the microwave. And by the time the milk is ready, then the coffee should be just about ready. Um, so I heat it in the microwave for a minute. But I'm not gonna do that until we do the, the foam. First drop. All right, so that's our first drop. You pour it right here on the spoon. Right? Mm -hmm. you put this back on the stove. Then we take this, you pour it in there, and you start mixing. And in fact, if you mix it fast, it foams more. So, and it'll feel like it's melting, the sugar's melting. And then it'll start to get like lighter. Oh, and I also, so I'm stirring and I'm also turning the thing like this. So there you go, it looks, it should look like this. Like a little foamy. And here I'm gonna let 
that crisp smell it. Mmm. Delicious, right? Yeah. So that is it's pouring keeps out. percolating. We're gonna start heating up our milk. And this and that will probably be ready around the same time. I also take one of these and I foam the milk for that, you know, French coffee sort of, yeah, cappuccino vibe. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna do it in a glass mug so that you can see the coffee and the foam and the whole deal. Now, I have fun doing this. I have fun doing this. There are people who think this is too much work, but I actually really enjoy the ritual. Yeah, the morning routine. The morning little routine. All right, so this is almost done. We're gonna take our milk out. I'm actually making two at the same time. You can hear it gurgling and boiling. So, you just, when you're foaming the milk, you only need to foam the top of it. The one thing you wanna be careful of, is you don't wanna burn the coffee. So as soon as you hear it, that it's done boiling. There, you see how it sort of climaxed? Yep. Then you want to take it off the stove right away. Another thing I've been doing is I've been stirring what's in there so that when you pour, you're not pouring the weaker part in one mug and then the stronger part in another mug. So, now we have this, right? Mm -hmm. You see the color of the coffee and the foam, and then we take our little uh, sugary foam here, right? Not too much. We stir it in well. Do you want sugar in here? Yeah. Not too much? And there you go, folks. Two beautiful cups of coffee in five minutes.